hello guys so these are the way bills we have today that we are going to the park to way bill business park yeah so we are going good morning uh sorry about the noise you're hearing we are off to way bill so i just wanted to show you guys okay when i get back talk we have something important to discuss okay Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so guys, we are going to Golafu. And I really do wish to take you guys along with us. So, we did Webby yesterday. And we had this particular one Webby, that one my sister is holding now. That didn't leave yesterday because it's going to a dose, on those states. And, <laughs> and we couldn't find any boss here in Osaka that is going to on those states. So they even allowed us to go to Golafu. So we went to even to Golafu yesterday, but I couldn't vlog it because my battery was very, very low. So we got to Obelafo yesterday and we were still told that there's no bus going to uh, on those states. Apart from this part, there's this particular bus, just one bus that comes out on Sundays, okay? And the director us to where that bus usually comes out. So we want to, even though it's late, now this is 7 something, we should have left the house around 6 30, but the guy that used to carry us around had his back, his point, like he had that mechanic problem. So we have to go ourselves. So that's where we are going now, okay? And then... We'll catch you guys later, okay? So guys, this is a Denibu roundabout. If you know this, if you know Nsuka, you don't know this place. Honestly, it can be wrong. wrong. <laughs> so because that's, that roundabout has so many, it leads to, it leads off to Enugu Road too. Yeah. So this route now, this is where you can equally find Jumia office in case you order anything online. This is where you, this is where their office, around this road now is where their office is so that you come and pick up your way bill in case you don't want them to deliver it at your doorstep. This is also the back of UNN. If you know the famous University of Nigeria, Unsoka, UNN. So this is the back of it. So, but today is, today is Sunday. That's why you're not seeing so many students on the road. Usually by this time, you're going to meet so many students on the road, okay? Because this is the back of the UNN. A lot of students, they just, they live around these areas. They come here, they buy, they do a lot of stuff. So this road now leads off to Obolo Afo, okay? So there are so many routes that you can take to Obolo Afo. But considering where I'm living, where I'm coming from, around that Odenibu Junction, so around that Odenibu Roundabout, so this is the closest route to Obolafo. Okay, now this other road, now this one now that we just passed to, it leads off to the f uh, f gates, as in UNN first gate to first Gabi, second gates. Okay, so now you still take this route straight. Now, now you don't just pass in Soka and then enter Obola for once. No. There are so many other villages that you're going to cross before you get to Bulafo, okay? Which I'm still going to mention or show you guys along the way as we go. So, uh, this is another famous school. It's a secondary school. I've forgotten the name. It's a big secondary school that is kind of popular too. Yeah. It has dormitory where students come and live. So you guys, but the first day I went through this route, eh, the first day I went to Obolafo, because this is not my first time going to Obolafo, I've, I've gone there severally because Obolafo has, Obolafo has, like, it's like, a, it's like one of the cities here in Enugu State that kind of became popular, that kind of, you know, grew before every other cities here. Yeah. I think the only, the only, the, the only, the only thing that made it so popular is that university, UNN, okay. So because of uh, Obolafo is that is a big city, it's a city that kind of opened first before other cities here around the Nugu state. It has a lot of transport companies, as in transport companies around that area. You find uh, motor directors going to different parts of the country, especially in northern part of the country because that they have routes to towards the north. Don't worry, I'm going to go that side too, so you see. So yeah, this is Obopa village. This village now, this one that we are in now is Obopa village. So we are going to cross about three villages before we get to Obolafo. Okay. So one thing I just don't like about this road is because of the bump. If you go small, you see bump. You go small, you see bump. Even though I don't blame them on that because uh, this bump kind of prevents accidents. Because if the road is just through via a lot of accidents will be happening here and i heard in the pa in time past that they were having lots and lots of accidents which is why they started putting these bumps around this area you see now so too uh, but this one this time around it became it became too much because i've been passing this road to Ebola for for way too but all of a sudden as like we don't used to pass this kind of this number of bumps 
until I realized that they are even building new newer bombs here. So this is Ibeku. Ibeku Eborovoko. <laughs> Ovoku. I don't know you guys if you're from these areas, please say hi in the comment section. Now this name kind of sounds familiar to me because from where I'm from, I'm from Omaha in Abia State. And there's a place we called Oboro. Oboro. So when I saw this Eboro, I was like, ah. At this point, they copying us like they want to take our name. Even this, we have somewhere in Umaha, it's called Ibeku. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one, they don't call it Ibeku, they call it Ibeku. Ibeku Eboro Ovoku. <laughs> I don't know if I'm calling it well. Oh. So, people, please don't come for me. Oh. <laughs> if you know how I can pronounce it, say it in the comment section. Ovoku. Ovoku. Ovoku, not Ovoku. It's not Ovoku because it scare you. It's not Ovoku, it's Ovoku. It's O V O K U. Ovoku. O V O is Ovo. K U is Koku. Ovoku. No, 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 go on. I can do the hell, I can do the You guys, there's Ovoku and Ovoku. So the Soka people that I, 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 even this bike man that was carrying me, I asked him, what's the name of that? He said Ovoku. Anyway, so we just entered Ihaka village. Ihaka village. It sounds like. A name too in Abia State. You guys, if you're hearing any background noise, sorry, please. My children are around. So, yeah, we are in Ihaka Village. Ihaka Village is another popular village too because even in Osaka, you'll be hearing Ihaka, 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 Ihaka. Yeah. So, and as you can see too, they have a lot of bombs on the road too to prevent accidents. So, this road too, just be going straight. You bust out at Obola for, okay? So, um, let me not talk too much, okay? But make sure you watch this video to the end because I have a lot of interesting things I want to show you along the way, okay? Of which, if you just click off now, you're not going to get those beautiful things. Anyways, we've entered Obolo Village. Obolo. Obola for. We've entered Obola for Village. So, another thing too is that uh, Obola for Village is a very, is one of the biggest villages in Enugu State, okay? Yeah, it's one of the biggest villages because from this part now you still be going, going. You get to where we are going for the web, you still pass that place, it's still Obolo village. So Obolo village is bigger than Ihaka, it's bigger than even Ovoku, it's bigger than so many other villages. Okay, I think it's even bigger, bigger than Onsoka too. I think it's bigger than Soka. My sister just crossed. She's the one in that bike now. So Obola for village is a very big village. And uh, hey, let me tell you another thing too. Obola for uh Obola for people, they are known, they are very they are known for eating uh what is this meat? Horse meat, you guys. Hmm. The day we went there, so we stopped at the, one of these days. I'm going to go to their market and then I'm going to vlog it so you guys can see. We went there, I wanted to buy meat, and uh, the meat we are so red. I'm like uh, why is this meat so red like this now? It's not like the normal cow meat that we used to buy. Cow, cow meat is a red meat, yes, I know. But it was, it was so, this one was so red. And look at the horse, the horses, you see them. So this place now is a market that, 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 that sells only on a K day, if I'm not mistaken. It sells every four, four days, the market. So these people, these particular people, this village, they eat horse meat. Horse meat is their popular, it's like their cow meat in this area. So if you're the kind of person that don't like to eat uh they are not eat any other meat apart from cow meat if you go to this village be careful because if you sell uh horse meat give you and you think it's is a uh, 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 cow meat another thing too is that how you can spot the difference between uh, cow meat and uh, horse meat is that yeah, we are still looking for the motor that's going to have those state we are told it's around this place we've asked a few questions and they said they don't know so guys the difference between a uh, red horse meat and cow meat is that one horse meat is so reddish i know that cow cow is a red meat too but uh, horse meat is very very red when you see it, it it looks so bloody like it's very very bloody okay and then uh, cow meat it's not that reddish and bloody it's red meat but it's not so red as horse meat and then another thing too is that uh horse meat is, is it has a it has a very bad smell like it's it has a bloody smell like if you enter anywhere they kill horse the, the blood stench is too much you just feel it anyway so this is inside obola for okay one thing i love about enugu state people is that they have in here <laughs> they have <laughs> 
they have statues a lot of statues any roundabout you see statue any crossroad like that you just using statues they, <laughs> uh, where the people they learn work <laughs> abi they don't even overlearn they don't overlearn <laughs> where the people has overlearn anyway so we couldn't find the bus that is going to on those states here in obola for so we were told to go to enugu ezike so we are on a route now going to enugu ezike so now not uh, that's my sister on the bike too <laughs> so not uh, this road eh uh, this is still obola for village anyway but we are heading towards enugu ezike so this particular road now leads off to so many northern countries uh, northern sorry northern cities like bauchi northern states sorry bauchi uh benue ondo you know this route now and you know one bad thing about this route is that is the roads are very very bad the road is terribly bad like terribly safe is this more and if you're not careful please all the bike riders riding around this area even cars vehicles should be very careful because all these big lorries all these big vehicles carry a lot of uh, uh onions a lot of food stuff from the north and coming to this area if you're not careful if you get accidents here and this village is called then basically i stopped vlogging because that's i was really really bad and i didn't want to i didn't want my phone to fall off my hand so, we want to do the webinar now, then we going back very soon. I'm going to go to the i so guys if you're not if you're not careful here you're going to just drink as much palm wine as you want to drink and go in the name of testing because all of them will give you test go drinking test test this one test that one test this one test okay test my own test this one test before by the end of the day so if you just test test then i know they buy again you call the go house <laughs> anyway guys so we bought our uh, two gallons the smaller gallons that sold for one five one five so bought two of them yeah and we, we are not we gave the riders that brought us here one gallon and we took one gallon because they were very very patient you know waiting for us and everything honestly they were very very patient so yeah today's vlog I, I actually had fun filming it but before i end this vlog there's something i want to talk about that i kind of noticed about uh Nsuka people or do i say at uh, this part of this part of Nsuka, this part of enugu state both Nsuka obola for people even enugu ezike people iha ihaka village people like all around this area what i noticed about they are not business minded like they're not the hustling type i know there are areas where they're doing very well anyway but then they are not like abia state people See, in Abia State, everything is business. Everything is oral. Eh, ev see, okay, okay. Let me give you an example. So when we got to Enugu Ezike to do the webi, the first vehicle that we met, hmm, we gave him the uh, we gave him the uh, webi that wanted. They were doing webi going to uh, Ondo State, and he asked which part of Ondo. We said Akure. He said he's not going to that area. That he's going to oh, there's one place he said that he's going to somewhere else that is not Akure. So okay. okay, look at what you're going to do, which is very very normal, which is what we do on a regular. So it's okay if you get to that place you're going, and since it's still in on those states, give it to another vehicle going to Akure. Let us pay you. He said no, that he does not going to give himself that kind of stress. That he's not doing that. Blah, 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 blah. He started talking. Eh? Ah ah. We were begging him. Even the, uh, the his passengers were still begging. Said that is no man now. She be this. That. We see eh, we, when we do webi that is going to Lagos. Sometimes when we do webi that is going to Yanepaja, Lagos, eh, or Aja. Because they don't have buses here in Musoka that is going directly to Inyanipaja. Most of the time, the buses are stopping at Maza Maza or Jibowu, you know, all those areas. So now what they do, the driver will collect the web bill. When he gets to Maza Maza or Jibowu, he will now give, put it, give it to another driver that is going to Yanipaja or Aja, you know, and the person will get it. Which is what normally, even in Aba, what they do. But this man said no, that he doesn't want to do it. 
which was why we wasted so much time there waiting for another vehicle that is coming that is going to own those say that we can give it to even the second man that came said we are begging the man the man was giving us so much automotive saying a lot of things but if it's in a bar <clears throat> when one is involved ha if if you like say the man said can even say okay you know what pay me let me go and deliver it for you <laughs> because everything is business but you see here you might even enter keke and you're asking the keke man because please do you know any restaurant around this area he said no he, sometimes they don't even ignore you. When I drive, I'm asking you questions. I say, why are you asking me? Don't you see that it's Keke that I'm driving? Do I know? <laughs> How will you not know? Are you not a rider? You should know everywhere along that the road you're, you're driving. So whenever they, and, and everybody asks you questions, you'll be able to give answers. But that one, voila. Or you ask somebody, please, eh, I'm looking for a house. Do you know where a house come out? Why are you asking me? Am I an agent? agent? But if it's in Abia State, you just ask the person, say, ah, the person become agent automatically, start making calls so, because you know so they get money from it. So in certain people they are not hustlers, they are not they are not business minded people. You get me? That's one thing I've come to real. I've noticed about in certain people. Anyway, so uh let's not talk too much, okay? Because if they feel like it's very, very long. Anyway, so I'll see you in my next vlog. Until then, ciao. Have a nice day.